Hello and welcome to day two of my Advent of Code series for the year 2020. If you missed yesterday's episode, go ahead and check that out right over here. There I gave a quick intro to the series and we went over the problems for day one. So today we're going to be going over the problems for day two. Uh, remember there is a playlist down in the description that has all of the days up until whatever day you're watching this or the entire series if it's past December 25th, 2020 already. Uh, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want to see solutions for other days. And there's also a link to my GitHub repo for this project down in the description that has all of my code for this year's advent of code. So we have day two now called password philosophy. So here our idea is we need to rent a toboggan, but the toboggan shop is having an issue with their password database. And they want us to loop through their database, which is just a list in fact, and tell them how many of their passwords are valid. So if we take a look at the example input here, we will see how it's structured. So first we have a range. So here you can see that's one to three. Uh, and that's how many times inclusive that this letter can appear in this password for it to be considered valid. Uh, so it gives a quick example right here. I already finished. Uh, I highly recommend you go ahead and try this for yourself before seeing my solution. And we will jump over to my code right about now. Okay, so we're gonna start with part one. So the way that I broke this problem down is again, like I did before into one function that reads things and then one function that does the actual parts because we need similar things for both things. So first in my main function, I loop through the input file and for each of those I am calling the part one or part two function uh, and then I'm reporting the results of each of those at the end. So for part one, we can see here first we go ahead and read the tokens. So what that's doing is it's taking the line, it's splitting it on those spaces to get down to our different parts. And then for the first part, we need to extract each of those two numbers. So we assign first and second to the integer values of the split tokens on that dash sign. Uh, so what map does is it essentially applies that function to every single element of the iterator you pass it. So since we split that thing on the dash, then we have a list with two string representations of numbers. And then by mapping it, we apply it to both of those. Uh, so then our second token there is our letter. Uh, so our letter is accompanied by a colon after. So we just go ahead and take the first element of that string. That's going to give us our letter. And then finally, we have our password, which is on its own in that uh, third token. So then if we return all of those, we can get jump down to my actual part one, where I assign those to min, max, letter, and password. And then part one is super simple. We just need to check if password count is in between min and max inclusive. If it is, I return one, otherwise I return zero. And then down in my main, you see I add that to the count for part one. And then at the end, we're gonna print that out. Uh, so. If we go ahead and do that, we get the correct answer. For my input, it was 493, and we're ready to jump into part two. So let's give a look to that problem description. Okay, so it appears that we validated the passwords correctly, but we were actually given the wrong policy, and that was for the old store or something like that. Uh, so what we actually need to do is that each of those two numbers in the database, uh, what we had as our range before, actually represent two different positions in the password, where one is the first character. It's important to remember that and so on and then we need to check if exactly one occurrence of whatever letter we're given appears at those two indexes so again i hope you will go ahead and try this on your own before coming back here and we're going to jump back into my code for part two right about now okay so if i just go ahead and undo my deletions you'll see my code for part two right here so part two, we take a very similar approach. We're still using that read tokens function, which is why I broke it out into a separate function. But here, instead of min and max, I call the things first and second uh, because they're no longer min and max. So then what we go ahead and do is we just have, again, one if statement. And what it's doing is it's checking if passwords of first minus one, because remember, it said that one was the first element of the list. And in Python, obviously, zero is the first element of the list, as in most programming languages. So we need to subtract one to get the correct index. Uh, and we're checking if that's equal to letter. And then we're also doing the same thing for second. And then what we're doing is we want those two Booleans because those are gonna give us Boolean values of true if that letter is in fact what's at that spot and false if that letter is not at that spot. We wanna make sure that those two Boolean values are not equal to each other. Because if they are equal to each other, that means they're either both true or they're both false then we know that that doesn't pass our test condition. But if they're not equal to each other, this is essentially the same as doing an XOR in Boolean algebra because that's what not equal for Boolean values is. Actually, it's just an XOR. Um, 
it goes ahead and says, okay, if they're not equal to each other, it means one of them is true and we return one. So we go ahead and we add that count to our part two count as well. And then if we were to go ahead and run our code right here, uh, you'll see we get 493. And then for part two, we get 593. I'm just gonna fix this because it's gonna bother me otherwise. Um, and those are our two solutions. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check back tomorrow for tomorrow's video and drop a subscription on this channel if you wanna see more from me in the future and the rest of my advent of code series. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and be sure to check out the playlist and my actual code at the links in the description. Thank you.